We have to do more than integrate the work of the United Nations system. We have to coordinate with other international partners. In most cases, regional organizations, the World Bank, bilateral donors, and countries in the region play a major role. Warmly welcome the distinguished Secretary General. Host states are ultimately responsible for ensuring the protection of civilians and effective national institutions are essential to this effort. Our national counterparts must take this obligation seriously as peacekeeping operations can never act as their surrogate <coughs> in protecting the civilians within their borders. The ministers of the Security Council members. Enhanced efficiency and cost effectiveness of UN peacekeeping efforts are among the benefits of a multidimensional approach. Success in Burundi, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and the Timor Leste has demonstrated the value of multidimensional missions. Yet there are situations where changes are larger, where, charge, where challenges are larger than the US, UN wherewithal. This calls for a more calibrated response. And other distinguished representatives present in the In building national capacity, we have readily identified the need for inclusive and transparent political mechanisms and processes. We have increasingly also realized the imperative of evolving national institutions and good governance, which can minimize and hopefully eliminate corruption. Nothing is more corrosive to the progress of peace building. One of the UN's strengths is that it can deploy a truly multidisciplinary response in a way that other actors cannot. But this is only an asset if the whole is greater than the sum of its parts, which requires deep and sustained intramission cooperation. Your part participation is in affirmation of the... Since 2009, the Secretary General has consistently identified the need for the UN to broaden and deepen the pool of civilian expertise for critical peacebuilding tasks. In particular, drawing on capacities from the Global South. But recent figures show that over 20% of civilian rule of law posts in UN missions remains vacant. This shortfall is unacceptable and we must deal with it. Premièrement, il faut évidemment élaborer des stratégies de sortie de crise qui garantissent un retour durable à la paix. Les opérations de maintien de la paix n'ont pas vocation à durer éternellement. Il faut tirer les conclusions opérationnelles de l'absence de cloisonnement entre maintien et consolidation de la paix pour que chaque étape de la présence des Nations Unies prépare l'étape suivante pour anticiper et prévoir des stratégies de sortie. Ça va, il n'y a pas de problème. J'ai connu l'endroit.